Here are five things I wish I knew before moving to Paris. I'm Olivia Smith and this is Get Savvy with Social. In college, I lived in Paris for a semester and it was one of the best six months of my life. Funnily enough, I also later ended up marrying a Parisian, so that kind of says something there. Here are five things I wish I knew before moving to Paris and what you should know if you ever want to live abroad. I would take up blogging. That's my first tip. It's a great way to save memories and share your experiences with one another. At the time, I had started a small blog, but blogging wasn't really a big deal at this time, and I didn't really get that into it. So I wrote a few posts, I had a few images, but I really wish I had took it more seriously because it could have turned into something bigger. And while I am very happy to be a blogger now, I wish I had started it a little bit sooner. So definitely take up something like blogging. And if you're not really into blogging, then I'd really consider taking up writing and or photography. It's a great way to make a capsule of your time abroad and again, like I said, to share it with others. My second tip kind of goes along with the first, it's photography. One thing I wish I had done was invest in a better camera. At the time, those point and click cameras were kind of big and I didn't have a nice DSLR or more advanced camera and that's a big regret of mine because I have a lot of photos from my time abroad but they're not that high quality. So really think about investing in your photography because it will make your memories that much better in the future and you could walk away with some really beautiful images. Je ne parle pas français. My third tip, <laughs> please take me seriously because I didn't take myself seriously, is learn the language. My husband is fluent in French and I am extremely jealous. I do know some Spanish and I had studied Spanish. Because of my study abroad program, it didn't work out with Spain that well and I am very happy to have gone to Paris, but I really wish I had spent more time learning the language. I did take a class there. The instructor was great, but he didn't speak any English, so it was really hard for me to learn. So I'd say make it easier on yourself. Invest in a, something that you like learning using Duolingo maybe, or finding a teacher, or just reading a book, listening to some tapes. There are a number of ways you could learn the language, and even if you don't become fluent, you know, learn the basics. I did that while there and it really, really helped. Knowing the basics will help you not only get along better while you're somewhere, but will help you connect with the people. So yes, learn the language. And along with language is customs, of course. Don't forget to learn the customs of the place you're going because you don't want to make any rude mistakes on accident. My fourth tip is make a list of recommendations. I did do that before I went abroad. I got a lot of recommendations from people who had been to Paris before and other places of Europe because I did end up traveling all over Europe while abroad. So come up with that list, keep that list, and try to visit as many places as you can if these are people that you trust. Try to get recommendations from people that you meet there. The locals really know what's up. So take some recommendations from your family and friends, even if they were also visiting as tourists, but also meet people and get some recommendations from them. My fifth and final tip is relax. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your time. Parisians are very much known for liking to have a glass of wine, sitting outside and letting time just go by. But you also don't wanna to be too American and stick to your strict schedules. Try to be more like a Parisian. Try to be more, wherever you're visiting, more like the locals. And and part of that really is relaxing and soaking in the culture. I really wanted to get a lot of my time there and I did. I knew I had a limited amount of time, but even if you know your time is limited, give yourself a few days off and have fun. So there you go. Those are five tips for living abroad. I'm Olivia Smith and this is Get Savvy with Social. Make sure you go to GetSavvyWithSocial.com for more.